So the last thing that we want to do is have a unit test project and uh, we will be using an unit test project and uh, we will be writing test case for common project which has a message helper class. So let's get started. So the very first thing that you need to do is look into .NET new and see how we can create an unit test project. So we have an option of creating an unit test project using the n unit command. So let's do that. So let's clean this up. .NET. Oh, let me get inside my my app. Let's create the project .NET new, and I will say n unit. And I want to name this as common tests. So we have successfully created our project and definitely this project needs to have a reference to our common project. So we'll add that as well. I have added the reference and uh, now uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to open up and uh, yeah one thing we have forgotten to add the test project to the solution file so we'll have to do that. Done. So what I will do is open up my solution in code vs code and do some work so that we can test something. So we already have uh, inside our common, let's minimize this. So inside our message helper, I already have a message. So, so just ignore those error messages. <laughs> so I will go to, 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 to the unit tests one and I will rename it to common tests. Mm. Okay, let it be just tests.cs. Yes, so what I, will, I don't need this as of now. And inside this first test, I will say, uh, message is not empty and what I will do is that I will make an arrangement I will act and I will assert and I'll get the message first so what I'll say is, uh, let's have a variable which will hold my message from common dot message helper dot get message. So I don't really have anything in the act. So I can just simply leave it blank or I can even remove it. Uh, so I, I prefer to keep them as blank. So I'll say assert dot is false. Is none or white space. I'm checking whether my message is empty or white space. So if it is empty or it just contains a white space, it will return true and therefore my test case should fail. But in our case, our helper is returning a proper message so the test case should actually pass so yes uh, i think that's it so let's go back to a console let me build everything up so the way you run your test cases in uh, in your cli is by using the command dot net test and you specify the test project so as it says uh, test run succeeded I'm sorry about the color it's very light I'm not sure if it's readable 
but it it has passed and uh, the past num the number of test cases that have passed is one so let's add a test case which will fail so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this fail if message is empty so what I will deliberately do is do, 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 do. yes that should work for us so I'm gonna build it again rerun on our tests so as you can see we have one failed test because it was expecting that the message will be empty but it was not and therefore it failed so we can simply fix this uh, in our case we can just simply remove this makes no sense to have a test case like this so it's time to wrap up the class so we have seen how we can um, get used to the dotnet cli in linux based systems um, i was particularly using mac os but you can do every single command as is in linux based systems uh, like ubuntu or CentOS or any other of your choice and uh, yes we have covered pretty much this should save your life if you want to have some project in your mac os now and uh, yeah that that's all thank you very much uh, have a good day